I'm told that you invented a lot of this stuff. What's it called? Poppin'? Yeah. Uh, the style is called the electric boogaloo. <laughs> My name is Sammy Sam, of course, created the style that we do. Um, he's from, we we're actually from Fresno, California. And he's created the style like back in 1975, you know, and, um, and three years later he taught me. I started in 1978. But, um, you know, from there we, we started um, kind of like, like just hanging out at, doing, or going to clubs or, or house parties and and trying to get the name out there and stuff. And then eventually we ended up going to Hollywood. And short, long story short, we, we ended up on a tour. Uh, this guy named Jeff Kutash put us on a tour. Uh, Locking is actually from Los Angeles. And, you know, a lot of people have discrepancies about when popping actually started or when it came to Los Angeles. Well, I was here, and we were only locking. In 1978, there was only locking here. <laughs> Like I said, 1978 was my first time, uh, you know, doing this style. Uh, Sam introducing it to to a bunch of, a group of guys in our neighborhood, teaching everybody. Then he formed a group, and the group was the original name of the his original group was the Electronic Boogaloo Lockers because it was one guy who who two guys who did the robot for electronic. Sam did the boogaloo style, and and one guy was trying to lock or lock. Uh, so and thus Electronic Boogaloo Lockers. And when we got with uh, Jeff Kutash, when everyone in the group was tr was doing the form of style that Sam created, then the group uh, Jeff Kutash said the name was too long. You guys are not lockers, so he cut it down to Electric Boogaloo, not Boogaloo's at first. So it was, we was called Electric Boogaloo. As you may know, they these very creative young men have invented uh, a dancing style that's becoming very popular, and it's described as popping or Boogaloo or creeping. Right? creeping. Right, creeping Sam? Right. Creepin and they'll creepin'. do it this time to the bar case. Here we go. had its its movements that make it up like we're not just doing uh, arbitrary moves of course we're freestyling the dance um, but there are set movements that make it this dance in other words I can't start doing flips and spinning around on the floor otherwise that's not part of popping and it's not part of boogaloo it's another dance so um, there are there's always been just like there's moves in ballet and tap there's moves in popping and boogaloo yeah. In, in, in the terminology or, or in our world, when people say they have their own style of popping, that means they, they, created, they created this different style. And then they say, it's my own. I'm going, but there was popping existed before you. So I don't have my own style of popping. I just have, have my own feel. Because if you say, if, if you come to us and say, hey, let me show me how to pop. And each one of us is going to do this. We're going to show you this, this. So the technique of, we all know the, of popping, the flavor that we put on top of it, how we hold our hands, it's up, it's up to you. It's like, you know, if I do this, Sugar Pop do this, Sam would do this, somebody would do this. But the, the, the common denominator is this, regardless. 
Sam, Sam taught Pete, and Pete taught me. Sam, Pete dances nothing like Sam. I dance nothing like Pete. Yet we can do exactly the same movements together. what they call uh, hip hop now is not really hip hop it's uh, usually we call it choreography or bad jazz dancers trying to make a buck you know pretty much they, they did, couldn't cut it in their own thing so now they just throw the hip hop name on it and uh, pretty much it's given them um, it's given them leeway to kind of do whatever they want because they figure hip hop's got no real moves but that's fine but if they're talking about popping and locking we have exact movements with exact names to them it would be like them jumping into the ballet world and saying, hey, we, this is our own version of ballet and doing what they want. It's not going to work. Like in Japan, they kind of embrace the whole old school street stuff you know the, the hip hop thing for them it's not say it's new but when I was going there the, they wasn't saying hip hop in a sense they were saying you know we are old school we funk dance we do this so they was taking they, especially Japan they really get into like the old soul train type the old 70 dance stuff so when, they, when you see or go to an event they will actually have uh, you know old school dance groups doing the, the old school, school steps and they have poppers lockers so they 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 try to yeah they yeah they they yeah, they, they do they do the whole thing where here it's more like it's almost a trend over there it's almost a lifestyle for a lot of a lot of those uh, kids and, and and people who actually been a lot of them that we know have been doing it for years that are are, are you know in their late thirties or forties have been doing it since they was teenagers and stuff so and they still continuing to keep that 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 old street feel. <laughs> has definitely embraced. It's more events overseas. It's more, I mean, they have uh, uh, hip-hop or dance magazines that's catered straight to dancing. <laughs> we, we don't ask for respect. In other words, just because we've been doing it a long time, doesn't mean that people coming up in this dance have to automatically, oh, these guys have been doing it since, uh, no. We, we D up with anybody. This dance, we do it full time. This is what we do. And the day that we aren't at, at, at the top level is the day that we say, hey, time to, time to pack it in and write a book. You know, so it's not all we do, but this is... This is, this is our love. I mean, and, and like and we could, I mean, we could go home. To, I mean, I'm sure when we go in the other room, there's gonna be a song. There'll be a song coming in, there and we'll start dancing again. Yeah. And it's just what we love to do. Oh. Uh, and really, that is the real pay of this. The money comes and goes. Right now, it's on a high, oh. but it's been, you know, really low, really, really low. But we just love to dance so much. That's that's what's gonna keep it going. Is that we love it.